He's been working here a long time, pretty much as, as long as most of us. He was one of the first people on staff that I ever got to know. Anyone who says, hey, what, what's it like to be a Sea King? You point at Sean Kim. Although working for PV High behind the scenes for over 15 years, many don't know one of the school's most influential figures, head custodian Sean Kim. I, I've never seen anyone work so hard. His work ethic is inspirational. I compare that to anyone else around here. The guy runs circles around everyone. As teachers, we're here to serve the kids, and you see someone like Sean work so hard, so unselfishly. I get tired sometimes, but I feel happy to helping all of you because education is the most important. And Sean recognizes the importance of education after not being able to receive it as a young boy. Don't have time to go to school, just moving from this area to a uh, different area for survivor. Sean was born in Cambodia and grew up in one of the most dangerous times in history, at the height of its communist regime. It's like you don't know what's gonna happen, you know. It's a lot of people get killed. I was away from my parents and I was 13 years old. But Sean was able to immigrate to the U.S. and begin attending high school, which influenced him to finding a job in the education system. I tried to do something that, you know, whatever they done for myself. And PV has welcomed him with open arms. My second home's here. I have a lot of support. He feels like he's at home at Palos Verdes High School. He didn't have a home. He, he, he fled from his home. He is almost can say like paradise. And after years of hard work, Sean was finally able to see his family once again. I go to visit my mom, my dad, my three uh, brother, sister, they don't recognize me. It's the moment that you, you see them, it's just like, oh my God, I don't know how to describe it. Davis Moore live from 205. I see you guys smiling and fake, you know, it just make me so proud.